Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are someone who wants to learn about payments domain, then I have published a course in Udemy. You can check that course. The link is available in the description. It is available with 50% discount. So please do check out that course if you are interested to learn about payments. Okay. So let's proceed with the content. This is the first video of a series of Fedwire systems. As a first video, I am going to give you an introduction about what Fedwire system is and what is happening in ISO 2022, how the Fedwire is getting migrated to ISO 2022. So let's begin. The Fedwire system ISO 2022 migration. So first of all, the Fedwire system, what is it? I'm sure you might have heard about this term every now and there. So basically the Fedwire fund services is a real time grass settlement system that is being operated in USA. So in USA they call it as a wire transfers also because this is a domestic payment system that transfers funds individually from one bank to another bank. So you can use this Fedwire system only if you are transferring money within the US region. Since this is an RTGA system, ideally this is a high value payment system. So each transaction is processed individually and settled upon receipt. So settled upon receipt, I will tell you what is it in a while. So the settlement of this fund, funds are immediate of course. Of course, subject to the liquidity availability. So once the settlement is completed, it is final and irrevocable. So the sender bank cannot get that money back automatically. Right. The next thing is the when the money moves from sender bank to receiver bank. So how does that happen? The sender bank has to identify the receiver bank, right? So in US, they have a term called a routing transit number or the, normally it is called as ABA number also. So sender bank will put that ABA code of receiver bank in the message and they will transfer it to the Fedwire fund system. Since the Fedwire itself is the RTJ system of the central bank, so each bank will have their master accounts opened in their respective district federal bank. I hope you might be already aware if not usually every country has only one central bank whereas in US they have 12 central banks. So each bank can have their own can open their master account only once. They are allowed to operate with multiple master, master accounts only if there are cases like their merger and acquisitions are happening or some sort of some exceptional scenarios but ideally each bank should have only one master account for the settlement purposes at the moment the fed wire is not operating 24 bar 7 so technically it starts at 9 pm in the evening and it closes at 7 pm in the next day and it repeats its operations only for 5 days of the week so since it is being operated within certain timelines, it has a cutoff timing also. So the Fedwire normally processes three kind of transactions. So one is customer to customer transactions. The other one is obviously bank to bank transactions. Third one is special account transactions. What is special accounts? So many MNCs from different countries who's having account in Federal Reserve and they are transferring the fund or there can be a central bank of other countries who is having an account in Federal Reserve or it could be different banks from other countries who maintaining accounts in Federal Reserve. So among all these cases, all the fund transfer happens in these scenarios are considered as a special account transfers. So for all these three types of transactions, Fed buyer has a cutoff time for each of them. At this moment, Fed buyer 
is using a message format is called priam so basically this is a proprietary message format so each transaction type is mentioned using the code so that's why you can see here that code 15 messages so basically this is for the special account messages code 10 is meant for the customer account transfers and code 16 is meant for the bank to bank transfers so once all of them are completed at 7 o'clock fedwire stops its operation and it will begin at 9 pm so in the first slide i said settlement upon receipt what does it mean so to understand that we have to understand how the messages are flowing in the fedwire system normally all the payment message flows there are four types of message structures are available usually v type y type t type and l type right so among that fed wire is processing v shaped processing so what happens in the v shaped processing is like the sender bank will send entire message to the settlement system which is fed wire and upon receiving this entire message the fed wire will do the validation and it will perform the settlement so this is what i said settlement upon receipt so as soon as the fed wire performs the settlement it will confirm back to the sender saying that bus i have successfully completed the settlement in parallel it will send or it will forward the message that was received from the sender bank to the receiver bank with full message in it so it will not take out any information from the message so it will just forward as it is received so this is the brief introduction about the fedwire system i hope you like it if you would like to learn more about the payments please subscribe to my channel and we will see in next video thank you